and say it. Lord, I'm running. Trying to make a honey. One honey. Because 99 and a half won't do. Why are we doing this? 
If we don't understand the why, then all of it is going to feel pointless. Come on. That's right. That's right. Come on. Understand the mission, the what and the why. Our mission is to understand for ourselves yes. the new good news. We talked about that before. The new good news. Amen. Hashtag that. Amen. And once we understand that for ourselves, it's our job to share yes. the new good news. Yes. We're supposed to go out there and talk to people and tell them, look, God is love and love is for everyone. Yes. God is love and love is for everyone. Oh, okay. God is love and love is for everyone. That means you and you and you and you and you. And you and you and you and you and your mama yeah, yeah, and your cousins yeah, right. and your aunties and uncles, all of them, everybody, no matter what they did, what they didn't do, God is love and love is for everybody. Everybody, yes. So then, y'all know I like to kind of plug in words and things like that into the scripture, but if we take that formula that we know, God equals love, yes. and put that in the scripture, it reads whole differently. Mm. It says, therefore, my family, my folks, my peeps. <laughs> my peeps, bring it there. <laughs> my peeps, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself to the work of love. Mm. Because wow. you know that your labor in love is not in vain. That's the mission. That's what we're here to do. If we do the work of love, which is the work of God, which is telling people that, hey, God is love and love is for everyone. I am made in the image of God, therefore I am love. And I am here to give you love. Yes. And let you recognize that you are also love. Yes. And you are to give love. That's the mission. Hmm. Yeah. No, on that one, I'll be like, look, well, let's just go home. We understand the mission. There's a couple other things we gotta keep in mind as well. Next thing I want you to keep in mind is don't get lost in the tasks. Mm, come on now. I'm going to say that again for somebody. Don't get lost in the task. Mm -hmm. Maybe that somebody is me. Huh. Maybe that somebody is me. A lot of times we get to focus in too heavily on the tasks. Yes, yes, yes. In completing the mission. Mm -hmm. The task in getting the job done. Mm, yeah. That we get burnt out on the mission and then we be tired. Mm. I'm tired. But we're all focused. Yes. It's all focus. We start to feel like the work is in vain because then we're, we're, we're tired of it. We don't understand what we're doing anymore. Mm -hmm. Case in point, you know, things change. We have a plan together. This is the task that I'm supposed to do. The task that I can get lost in sometimes is did I plug up the microphones right? <laughs> yeah, that's not about right. <laughs> did I plug in the microphones right? Is the camera focused the right way? I'm like, what, what, what shirt do I have on today? What's my nine to five telling me I need to do? Mm. Yeah. These little itty bitty things little. that are part of the bigger mission, mm. we tend to focus on and yeah. lose sight of what that mission is. And then we're like, well, all of this is pointless. I don't even understand why we're here anymore. Well. I don't get it. What are the tasks? What are the tasks that we get bogged down in? I'm like, right now, my personal task related to the overall mission that I'm working on is health. I'm working on my health right now. Amen. Right. Amen. And so I know I'm trying to be the healthiest me that I can be. Yes. Amen. I'm working on that. Trying to, at least. This ain't even the point, but make sure you got some good support out there. Wow. <laughs> You get back on track when you lose sight and you're all over the place. That's right. My mission is health right now. The task that I'm getting bogged down in and ready to give up is blood pressure and diabetes. Mm. I'm looking at these numbers. I'm looking at these results, and I'm like, well, why am I even working anymore? I'm ready to just sit down. Mm. Well. I'm just going to go sit down. Go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and just give up. Because I lost sight of the mission, focusing on the individual task. We can't do that. Sometimes we just got to write out our vision and make it plain. <laughs> Have it somewhere where you can see it every single day. What is it that I'm supposed to be working on today? Put it on your wall. Put it on your mirror. Put it on your whiteboard, your planners, whatever it is. Write your vision out. Make it plain. Yes. And then speak some life over it. Yeah, yeah. Words have power. Yeah. You gotta say it. You gotta speak.
speak it. You got to put some energy out into the universe. For the universe to send that energy back to you and allow you to accomplish what it is you're trying to do. Yeah, Write the vision, make it plain, and then speak life into it. Amen. Don't get lost in these little tasks. Amen. It's easy to do. Yes, it and that's is. where your frustration comes in. That's right. That's where you're ready to throw in the towel. That's when you start to accept the 99 and a half. Wow. And forget that that won't do. Hey. You quit running. Don't get lost in the task. Okay. Understand your mission. And last but not least, I'm telling you, we have been through all of this. I think somebody even hit on this point today. But remember the first work week. Go on back to Genesis 1 mm. and read through that. How God created a few things. Well, Remember, days 1 to 6, at the end of the day, what did God do? Days 1 through 6. That's it. That's it. Days 1 through 6, you got to remember to acknowledge and celebrate the wins. Come on now. That's it. Yeah, say so. Acknowledge and celebrate those wins because that took work. Yes. You put in the work for it. You yes. earned it. Yes. You better take a look, step back and say, oh, that's good. Hey. That's good. Amen. That's good. That's what you do with them little tasks. You don't sit there and be like, oh, I didn't make that one task and I'm just going to give up on the whole mission. No, look at all the other tasks that have come together and say, just that's good. That's good work. Let that be part of your encouragement. Amen. Encourage yourself. Yeah. God did it, so it can't be wrong. Mm -hmm. God also just did the task and let it go. God didn't go in there, do the work, and then start picking it up, trying to change some things and tweak it a little bit. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you think I did that right? <laughs> let me just, let me try it again. Let me do, no, 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 no. Do the work. Because you already know what you're here to do. Hey. You got your mission statement. Come on now. You understand for yourself the new good news. Hey. Come on. Come on. You understand and know how to Come share on. the new good news. So when you're doing the work, you don't have to second guess it. Come on now. Lay it out there, step back, and look at it and say, that is good. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank mm. you, Lord. Now we get to day seven. That's my favorite part. I like that part. Because <laughs> day seven, even God took the weekend off. See? God said, you know what? I done did all this here good work. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Six days of great work. Look, it's excellent. I got fish and birds and all of these other things that I created. It's beautiful. I did good work. Yes. I think I'm going to take the weekend off. That's right. Sit back and admire it. Enjoy the work. God rested. So should you. Amen. We got multiple instances of Jesus resting. Yes. So should you. Hey, come on. You have to rest in order to restore yourself so that you can continue the work. Mm. The daily task, you know, they could they add up all the time, all day, every day. Yes, yes. It's always a new task to do. Oh. But we can't do that if we don't remember to take the weekend off. I'm, I'm thankful for these labor unions and folks because beforehand I heard they was working 12 days, 12 hours mm -hmm. every seven day, days seven days a week. Even children. Even the children, five and six year olds out here laboring. Now that part was in vain. Mm. Just, just laboring to working to be working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to understand that we have to rest. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to practice our self-care. We got to do those things that are uncomfortable to do to take care of ourselves. Yes. Talking about my health mission. Look, I'm going to have to go for a walk. That's right. I'm going to have to go for a walk. My support back there is like, mm, how about that? That's a whole other message. <laughs> well, support well. is important. But we got to remember that first week. Look at how God created all of this. Understand that we have that same God spark within ourselves. God is God with the big G. Yes. Like you say, we are God with the little, the little G. G. That's right, that's right. So we got a little God spark in us. That's right. Come on, we can create a few things. We can adhere to the mission that we've been put here for. Understand.
understand what it is, find it for ourselves, and share it with somebody else. Come on, preacher. We understand that we can't get lost in the little day-to-day -day kind of things. It's a bigger mission here. All of this, the mission is bigger than us. No matter how I'm feeling, the mission is bigger than us. And when I understand that, I'm like, okay, I can have my days where I'm a little bit off, but I am still here doing the work. Hallelujah. If I put all of me into it, then I'm still at my making a hundred. Yes, come on. Because I know that I can't come in here half stepping. I can't go into anything half stepping. Yeah, yeah. Trying to present some 99 and a half work hey, and expect a hundred results. It's not gonna work. Oh. It's not gonna work. You wanna know how to make sure that your labor is not in vain. Understand what it is that you're trying to do, whatever your mission is. We have our mission here at UFCCP. We have our personal missions that we're trying to do. We got our family missions. We got our financial missions. Understand what your whole mission is. Write it down on your board so you can see it every day. Amen. Don't get lost in the little things. That's right. Start spinning wheels talking about, oh, I didn't make it here. I didn't make it here. I didn't make it here. I didn't get this right. I didn't get this right. Look at them days one to six. That oh, did go right. Amen. Look at it and say, oh, that's good, and I did that. Encourage hey! yourself. And at the end of the day, take a break. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.